not falling, you're not trying, came from therapy at Walter Reed. Um, I was learning how to walk on prosthetics, and I needed to know where my point of no return was. Uh, I needed to know what I can and can't do. And a lot of the therapy that was happening with me wasn't really teaching that. They were being very safe, uh, very, oh, well, well, you know, let's go very slowly, and, and, but that's not real life. And eventually you have to go take that step into real life, and if you're not ready for it, uh, especially being a bilateral above the knee amputee, even though I wear shorts when I wear prosthetic legs, people are in their own world. They don't see that. They don't realize that I'm walking around and I'm on stilts, basically. You know, most people are in their own worlds. They're texting. They're thinking about what they have to go and, and buy at the mall. or So you can get bumped into and, and you know, off balance every now and again. So I, I made my therapist um, push me <laughs> all the time. And then there was this girl, too, that she was like, and this is really where it came from. Like, it's what made me regurgitate it. Um, I was all trying to go and, and figure out where, what I can do, what I can't do. And this girl, she was missing both of her legs below the knee. And I, I don't, I'm not trying to take anything away from that, but the guys that were missing knees or, or limbs, we call those people, you know, oh, they got a scratch. Having a knee is so much more pivotal than not having. You know, you can do so much more. You can do anything. Like, if you have one knee, even if you're listen, missing one leg that doesn't have a knee, you can still do a lot more than a guy that just doesn't have any knees. Um, joints are really, really valuable. And she was like, if I fall, I'm throwing these prosthetics out the window. I'm never touching them again. And I looked at her and I went, look, if you're not falling, you're not trying. You need to know where you're going to go. And you need to grow. You'll learn. You know, how can... It, it aggravated me so much, and, and, and it was a lead up because she had such a bad attitude for a while. Uh, it's since turned around, which is great, and she walks around and does things, and, and it is because there were people there pushing her to do it, and, and once she did it, it was all good. And sometimes people just need to realize that go through the work, it just becomes easy. So, you know, majors fall through, things don't always work out. I try to look at life as Hey, it's one great adventure. You know, things don't always work out. That doesn't mean your life's over. Every time that I felt like the world was crashing down on my shoulders, ended up being the best thing that ever happened to me. So if this didn't work out, and I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my life's over. Well, all of a sudden, that not working out ended up opening up a different opportunity that arose that was even better, and you're like, oh. And then you're like, thank God that happened. Because if that didn't happen, I wouldn't even be here. So they have to realize that it's a process. It's, it's like a journey. It's not, it's going to happen right now. You kind of have to look at it as your life is all about experiences. And, and in the end, that's all we have is what we experienced in life. Um, and that's what helps teach you who you are and stuff like that. And so, yeah, most people perceive war as a bad thing. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to glorify it in any way. But at the same time, it was still an experience. It, it has taught me a lot about myself and who I am and what I'm capable of handling. The greatest thing is that you can do anything. I didn't realize that I was smart until way after I was even blown up. Don't hold yourself down, take opportunities. It's amazing what happens when you're out meeting people and you just get outside your house. I mean, opportunities rise. Everything feels longer when you're going through it but it becomes a memory just as fast. And then all of a sudden you're like, wow, that's just a memory. Um, the first few years in the military, unless you're like an officer, <laughs> suck. <laughs> it's just something you have to go through and you think of it as like a, an initiation process type kind of thing or learning the way, I guess, because military is a whole different monster. And I mean, it's got its whole, whole set of laws and all that. So. Um, it seemed like once you make sergeant, or once you become an NCO, things tend to get a lot better. You get a lot more cooler assignments, or better assignments. Um, so if you're in it for the long haul, be patient, things will be better. If you're in it just to serve for the four years, suck it up, 
it'll be a memory and uh, hopefully you get a good experience out of it.